Welcome back, everybody. Welcome if you are new today. We're in the fixed super late models here at Lernerville. Main goal, try not to go over the edge here. We were the second fastest in practice. The one car didn't run a lap, but Ryan had the fastest lap here. Hopefully, we can uh, outrun him here in qualifying. We'll see what we can do. Pretty slicked off track to start with. So far, I've found like a slider in one and two is the fastest for me, and then top three and four like normal. But it's hard to get up to the top here and not slide off. So like a slider line is much easier to run for me. And here, we just got to not slide off and just keep the very edge and get speed. So right now, this first lap is not starting off the best getting speed. Not the best of sliders. So I'm really banking on our second lap, but we'll see what we can do. Try to get a run here. You have to get right up on that edge. Try not to smack the wall on the front stretch either. 15 ones not awful, but I'd like to get into the 14s. It's a good three and four. That was a very good three and four right there. That should get us a 14. I'll take that. That gets us up to second. Uh, Ryan also ran a 14 eight. He is fast. So we'll see if he can stay consistent and not go over the edge. But my main goal is to try not to go over the edge. Three and four, you are right on that lip. Like, you have to get right up on it with your right rear. It's so close. But it's going to be an interesting race. 40 laps. Uh, if somebody goes over the top, probably not going to be a caution until they try to rejoin the track. So it will be interesting. So far, we're second. We'll see if we fall any further. All right. We're starting here in second. Uh, Ryan, we already knew that uh, he was a viewer because I've talked to him in Gavin's Discord and stuff like that before. We've had some races with him. We're going to try to get out of here with minimal damage just because it's so tight to go through that too wide. But starting on the top is going to be interesting. We need to get a decent start, try to get singled out real quick. That's going to be the hard part because uh, having the top for three and four, that's great. But the top for one and two, not great. We have to try to like force it down under this slick at least to where we could slide up so we don't go in too high and go over the edge. That's going to be the hard thing. So hopefully we can have a good race. And hopefully we don't go over the edge, because the uh, top and three and four is fast, but it's very sketchy. Very easy to go over here, so you got to be careful. It's going to be a tough race for sure. That, that sun is blinding off of four, holy crap. So we'll all see right, what we can do. Today, do work, Good luck to everybody. Long. Hopefully we can have up as minimal dark. cautions as possible. Because we can definitely not have some cautions from people going over. That would be nice free positions or free just track in general with uh people messing up if you're behind them you get their position if not they just lose a lot of time anyways so hopefully we don't get too many cautions for that but we're getting ready to go here good start by third place there try and run this middle Interesting Ryan stays bottom there. Maybe that's what he did for his lap. I don't know. I don't know what he did for his lap, honestly. The hard thing is going to be trying to follow somebody on the top side. Because it's going to be so easy to, like, try not to run them over. That was a little sketchy, but we're good. They're battling for the lead. That bottom seems fast in one and two. Brian's moving on up. Because we have a lot of speed on the top right now. In three and four. Really close racing. That was a good three and four. He's going to get that run off the top because he was a little higher. Hopefully we can have a good battle up here with Ryan though. This has been fun so far. Good tight racing. Did not slide up through that slick very well. And we get our first caution of the race. It took six laps at least. And so far, we stayed on track and had a good battle up front. Man, it was tight. Oh, where did uh, the one car go? Maybe he was the caution. I'm not sure. He disappeared all of a sudden in the, on the relative. So maybe he got off the track or got hooked. I'm not sure. All right, coming around to the one the green, the uh, one car was all the way in the back. He was, like, right here with the pace car and then started going back around. 
So I guess he ended up in that Light first wreck. I don't know what happened to him. We'll see after the race for sure. Ryan messaged me saying sorry for lifting a lot, which I didn't even realize he was. Like, I didn't feel like we were really faster than him at all. We're kind of like similar speed. Just take a little bit different line in turn one. That's about it. We need to try to get a better start this time, though. Did not happen. It's so tough because we're like so much in the slick through three and four there. Like, the, the start is really tough on the outside lane. I'm trying not to floor it and just spin my tires and get sideways. The 59 had a great restart though. Just trying not to get on throttle too much and spin our tires. It'd be so easy to do so. 59's putting a lot of pressure on Ryan up there and the 59's going off. He saved it for the most part, but it went off, so we get the second place back. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm hoping not to do, and we get the caution. Oh, and the, he gets his spot back? Oh, you lucky son of a bitch. That is, that is unfortunate. Why is the pace car going to back? The pace car is absolutely flying right now. That's hilarious. But uh, he gets his spot back up in second. He already went off once, so hopefully he'll go off again. But... Uh, Let's start on the bottom. Let's try to get a good start this time because we're not going to be all up in the slick and we're right behind the leader. So go, maybe a little bit of a positive, honestly. We'll see. We'll see what we could do now being on the bottom. It's going to be tough for sure. Okay, ready? Second place trying to get a jump. Because so many people do that in second nowadays, it seems like. Oh, my God. He sent it on my inside. We're like three wide right now. Going to go up to the top there. Don't want to just get trained by everybody. The 66 got by us from just being on the top. He had a good restart as well. Like, I just suck at restarts, apparently. Like, I'm really bad at restarts. They're very tough. We are not nearly high enough there in three and four. People are going real risky in the turn one, like going in pretty high to get to that top. Quite interesting to me. 59 putting a lot of pressure on Ryan up there. We might be able to make that middle work a little bit in one and two. I feel like. I feel like we're pretty quick. It just it all depends on how the restarts go. Oh, 59 got in the back of Ryan a little bit there. 59 seems really fast right now. He seems very, very quick. There's the slider. He almost goes up and hits the wall. It's crazy because uh, he went off in one and two on that last run. He got saved by the caution. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good though. Oh, that's gonna be a caution probably. Oh no, he, he came out with a lot of speed. I think that's the one car. And he doesn't seem happy with whatever's happened to him because I think he's been a part of both wrecks. He said, he said really two reports to uh, somebody in the chat. Oh, I can't see a thing, the dust. It's so bad. But he came right out in front of the leaders, which is pretty sketchy. But that dust is getting really bad now, all of a sudden. It's hard to see the line. Oh, they're fighting hard for the lead there. I think I'm slowing up the guy behind me a little bit with the line I took in three and four. I was just really trying not to go over the edge because I can't see the line into three. It's very close. Good three and four that time. I'm just trying to run the middle because I'm trying not to slide up into the 66 there. Because normally I would just want to run like a slider up to the top there, but try not to run into the 66. And the one car is battling with the leaders now. He had to throw a slider on him. Which he probably believes that he should be up here in the lead or fighting for it. And he's going off the track there. I don't know if he got hit by the 59 or just went off himself. And that's going to be caution number three now. So we're going to be back to fourth for this restart halfway through. One to go. All right. Coming up to one to go. The one car seems pissed at the 59. Ryan's mad at the 59 because he, he said he had wheel damage from him. So this is uh, getting very heated at this point. <laughs>
<laughs> it's getting very heated with a lot of the drivers in here. So we got to watch out and uh, hope we don't run into anybody. We're going at a snail's pace here. Holy crap. Like we're like not even on throttle pretty much. Ryan dipped down in the second real fast. We're gonna drop back to fourth like we have been. That guy's sending it on the inside. Holy crap. Getting super dusty up here. Getting very tough to see. Oh, there's two number 66s. The guy on my inside is number 66, and the guy in front of me is number 66. I guess it's a somewhat popular number. Interesting. At least for the, these guys, these this race. 59 is very fast when he's out in clean air, it seems like. I think I need to just go in slightly higher, try to get the run to the top. Because I feel like I'm losing time on the back stretch, trying to stay low and not run into him. I got, I'd probably be better off getting to the top side and staying behind them just speed wise at this point I'm hoping like some of these guys fall off the track because the 59 did it earlier honestly he did it like the second run oh the 66 is going over that's third place let's go don't bring out a caution please let us get back to the line all right we got back to the line that's one spot I had a bad entry into that I hit the bump and we're going over now dang it Everybody's going oh, over. My bad, Dalton. Trying to come back on track as safely as we can. Not really able to. Going to right here. All right. Luckily, everybody uh, saw it coming, so we're good. Tried doing that as safe as possible. That was sketchy. That is so tough to do. I wanted to do it in three and four, but there were some guys flying up, and I didn't want to get ran into or anything. And we get the caution. So we're gonna get look like one spot back maybe, you, unfortunately. You. You but uh, we lost a ton of position there. That is unfortunate. What happened? All right, coming around to the green. I want to try to get back to like almost the top five because I feel like we should be like a top three, four car here, like speed wise. So I messed up there. I hit the berm like weirdly off the uh, wall because there's like a bump on the wall right before you go into turn one i hit that and it really messed up my line on entry and i slid out a little too much with the right rear and just saved it at least didn't go sliding down the banking because that's always the worst when that happens but we're starting way back here in ninth hopefully we can try to make something happen pretty good restart for us compared to the guys back here there's a guy on your inside i don't think he realized there was a guy low but we're gonna get by him trying to get by the 12 carts on the outside as well there's a lot of grip down here but it's not super fast but we're gonna try to make it work for now we got to like what seventh there not bad got two spots out of it pretty much moved up a whole row the 11 car is very close to that 66. Watch out to see if he gets into him. They're fighting hard for a second. The 11 does get into the 66 there. Doesn't send them off or anything. I lost concentration there with my throttle. Got all sorts of sideways. Trying to get around this 92 car. Very good three and four there. Trying to run this middle where there's some grip because he's running like through the slick there above us. Outside. Clear outside. Try to get this grip down here. There's a big bump off turn four, so be careful with that. Outside. 15.4. Overshot Two. that. I was trying to hit the bottom. Outside. Outside. I think somebody Clear slid high. off. Cause there were, oh, I think the 11 car slid off. Yeah, because he's outside. no longer here. I think that might have been the 11. I don't know. We're slowly making time up on them. Three and four, we're losing the time now. You had time to check up. I need to throw a slider in the three and four if we have room. That's going to be a caution because the guy's just sitting down there on the bottom. And we're behind the 
92 again. Dang it, I thought we were ahead of him at the line. That's a little unfortunate, but... Oh, God, pace car's flying. <laughs> Watch out for him. He, he's coming with a head of steam. But uh, we're up to sixth. I want to try to get back to the top five at least. Uh, we have like five laps to do so. All right, coming around the one to go. I'm going to keep trying to get on the bottom of this guy because we are making up time down there, at least in one and two. We're doing great in one and two. Three and four, we keep losing it because uh, the top is fast in three and four, obviously. But we've been making up time on the bottom in one and two, like middle to bottom, more bottom, I feel like. So we'll see what we can do off here off the restart. Hopefully, we can get a good restart, try to gain a spot or two because we've been right there with the 66 a lot of the time as well. So we'll see if we can try to get up the fourth potentially or if there's going to be another quick wreck because... Everybody's mad at the five, it sounds like. He's waiting till the last second to go. Don't pass him. He was very slow to start there. Get that bottom rolling. Trying to. I'm going to try to go up a little higher. Oh, I went all the way to the bottom. Never mind. I was going to try to slide where that little patch of uh, tackiness was. Clear, clear, clear. 15.5. Clear. Should have went up high in three and four there. Yeah, we just lost all the time there. Try to run middle, maybe. Try to get a run back on him. I need to throw a slider on him to get up, up ahead of him. Oh, we're on the white flag. Somebody may go off final lap. Who knows? He almost did. It was close. Send it deep. Oh, not going to be able to get him. I tried to get on throttle. I was just going to spin your tires. But I'll take sixth after rebounding. We were all the way back in like 10th there from sliding off. So I'll take the rebound up to uh, What are you running six. about? You literally did nothing except really direct people. Nice Don't be proud of yourself. I was just as with wheel damage. That guy's oh, going yeah, around exactly. and spinning people yeah, after the exactly. caution or after the checkered. But we had a great race there at the 72. That was a lot of fun. But let's go back, see what happened through the race, because apparently they, uh, 59 drove through anybody. So, uh, or drove through everybody. So, we'll see what happened here. Because right off the start, we were flying on the outside, got up in the second pretty well. They hit on the bottom really hard. They're blinking. Oh, what happened here? The 12 and the 5. The 5 car looks like he, like, whipped it in, got super sideways right there. The 12 was off him until he got more sideways, but that was just close racing. The 12 car got in the back of him. And uh, right here, yeah, the 59 just drove through him. Yeah, that is exactly what happened. Because uh, he slid up, and he was clear of him, and he never checked up at all. Not one bit, never checked up, and just took him around. What's going to happen here? Is he going to hit something? I have no clue. Oh, what is happening back here? This is under caution. Everybody is hitting and stuff. Five car. The 13 is coming down to a stop for some reason. Then gets hit, like, net coded by the 12. They're wrecking back there. 11 car is going off. That's where the 59 went off. Does the 59 just... Oh, no. The 11 car rejoining uh, causes the wreck. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. They slide. Barely had enough room to get by on that outside. That was super close. Very, very close there. Gets the wall there on the front stretch and then comes down and hits him. I was very confused on why they, why he came down there. But uh, I understand more why uh, the lap car of the one is uh, racing the 59 like that. And then he just sends him off the track too. So that makes that makes sense why people are mad at the 59, 100%. 13 got into the side of the three there. He's holding him as tight as possible in this restart. <laughs> I think this is where we restarted like really far back. Yeah, in like ninth or something. We had a good restart there. I was happy with that. We got bumped up there. People are checking up. Five car doesn't. Ryan here almost goes off. Tries to cut down. Barely clips the 66 there. They're fine. 13. Just sends it into the one right there. Love it. Love to see it. Just people don't know how to drive and not hit each other. The 11 getting in the 66. We were right behind this when that stuff happened. I have no clue when the 11 went off, though. I think, was it up here right now? 15 got in uh, the wall. And the uh, 78 just got into him. 12 car went off behind us. And I think right here is where the 11 sent it in a little too hard, hit the back of the 66, and then slid off himself. And then this was under, like, caution and stuff. I don't know what, what the 59 is doing that for he literally checked up to get behind ryan who was in second it makes no sense 
And then this is the end of the race. Oh, you you braked very hard. Oh, and then straight line the one. Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. And then this is after the race. And uh, the 59 just going around and hitting more people. So, yeah, there's probably going to be a couple people in this race protesting them, I would imagine, because that was ridiculous. But, hey, we rebounded up to six. Probably still going to lose a little bit of I rating because of the two car. The one car is going to lose a ton. Oh, my goodness. That's unfortunate. But we're still probably going to lose a little bit finishing six, I think, because we were, like, nearly midfield being the car two car. We should have probably been, like, fourth or above, I feel like. I feel like we had that speed the entire race. It just, once you get behind people, it was so tough to pass unless you threw a deep slider, which a couple times I should have thrown on a slider on the 92 like uh kenneth here who is the number eight but 92 on the side of his car we should have thrown a slider a couple times i decided not to because there were some cars in front of him i didn't want to go and slide up into them or anything just see what we could do on the bottom which we were making up time on the bottom up until three and four three and four is just tough on the bottom could not make it work but let's go see what we end up getting out of the results here and results are in. It was a single split, 26-49. We gained some safety back up to our max. Did we end up with 0x? Yeah, we ended up with 0x. I'm shocked. Lost 19, though. That's okay. Not the worst thing in the world. It could have been much worse. Uh, like, the one car lost 145. That That's unfortunate. But, man, that was uh, a very interesting race. The five car had a 6x, which made sense. He, like, ran over the one car twice. That's two. And then what he did with the four there, maybe, got him the other two. Either it was, like, probably... During during that caution and stuff so i don't know how his car wasn't like completely broken or anything that's crazy but hey we, we rebounded at least didn't finish as bad as we uh fell back to so i'll take that win for us and uh try to do better in the opens at least so hopefully you guys enjoyed the race appreciate you guys watching as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one